Well, you've done a shed load of work with a pose. I got to do a video for him once for summer in, summer in Siam. And dig this, I had to do two treatments. One if Shane showed up and one if he didn't. And lucky enough, I knew the brother from back in the Roxy days when he was a nipple erector. He showed me the respect by turning up. I propped him up on a tea chest and got him to do two takes and then he buggered off. But it was all I needed. Well, I got roped into the whole Pogues thing because by this point, I think, you know, Joe and I were like a good team. What he would get me to do was kind of build a little art studio in the studio. It was like the, the spliff bunker kind of thing that he would build. Um, With an art department. Anyone who came to visit the studio would come and hang in this little area and not in the control room. So in the spliff bunker slash art studio, the Chili Peppers and the Matt Dillons and Sean Penn and all these characters would show up and we could keep him in there and, and then he could sneak off and go back in and keep mixing or keep doing whatever he was doing. This became a good tool and especially with the Pogues. So he goes, okay, I'm in Rockfield Studios. Come down here, bring all your stuff because we'll need a cover for this record. So then we started building our little bunker. Like you said, it was kind of like come and you were to stay. You weren't really allowed to leave. So I would go down there and you're right, you can sleep in the in the vocal booth and we're gonna start working on the artwork here and then we'll roll jazz woodbines over here and here's the bar and the studio and this is all going on. And then Shane, we would they would kind of wheel him out mm -hmm. to do a vocal now and then. But this just became our kind of thing where we would, you know, make the you were we're like a little production thing. And then Frank Murray also, who was the manager of the Pogues, became a, you know, rest his soul, became a great friend. I remember going to the set of the Summer in, the Summer in Siam video to show Shane the album cover, because he was like, you got to go show it to him to get him to approve it. And so it was, I think it was kind of like he's in the makeup room, you know, being propped up and like, quick, show him the thing. And, uh, you know, it's all right. Uh, okay. You know, like quickly run out. So I didn't actually get pictures on that that day. I don't know, we had our little kind of, uh, I don't want to say collective. I remember once somebody said to Mick, we're a collective. And Mick goes, oh yeah, what do you collect? 